to the Startup Funding Espresso. I'm Hall T. Martin, where we talk about how to raise funding and invest in startups and the time it takes to drink an espresso. If you have a question about startup funding or investing, please go to the website, startupfundingespresso.com, and type in your question into the chat bot in the lower right corner to receive an answer. I hope you enjoy this episode. Hello, this is Hall T. March with the Startup Funding Espresso, your daily shot at startup funding and investing. The lead investor typically takes up to half the round in return for leading the diligence and setting the valuation. When there is a great deal of work to be done and no single investor will take the lead, then one can recruit a co-lead investor. A co-lead investor will help to join the, with the diligence. In this case, it's best to build a lead investor team. It's important to divide the diligence tasks among the members so everyone does their share of the work. Some consider the co-lead investor as lacking in interest or commitment. But with the amount of work to be done, it's not uncommon for investors to look for other ways to accomplish it. Startups can build lead investor teams to facilitate their funding round. Founders can pull several investors together into one group to perform the diligence and share the results. This often speeds up the funding process as investors look to others for feedback and experience. Consider building a lead investor team on your next fundraise. Thank you for joining us for the Startup Funding Espresso, where we help startups and investors connect for funding. Let's go start us into today. Paul T. Martin is the director of Investor Connect, which is a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to the education of investors for early stage funding. All opinions expressed by Hall and podcast guests are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinion of Investor Connect. This podcast is for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon as a basis for investment decisions.